All right, so I got another video for you today. It's about 8 a.m. in the morning. It's 38 degrees. The temperatures are gonna be increasing throughout the day up until like the mid 60s. Um, I'm headed to Hickory Run State Park um, at the foothills, the western foothills of the Pocono Mountains, um, kind of in the Lehigh Gorge area in Carbon County, Pennsylvania. So um, I never really had any interest. I've known about Hickory Run State Park for a while, never really had any interest in fishing Hickory Run because as far as I knew until recently, Hickory Run was primarily a stock trout fishery. I'm not really into fishing stock trout that much um, unless it's on like a really impressive body of water. We'll get into that. Anyway, so what I read really last night is that the um, bottom section, the section of Hickory Run right before it meets the Lehigh River, the bottom, I don't know, like mile and a half, uh, is actually a class A wild brown trout fishery. So the plan is we're going to park at Hickory Run State Park and we're going to fish downstream uh, following Hickory Run all the way to the Lehigh River. And then we're gonna fish up the Lehigh River, uh, try to catch some monster. There are some monster brownies uh, in the Lehigh River that um, not only were recently stocked, but have held over, especially with all the rain we've had the last two years. There's probably a ton of monster holdover uh, brownies. So we're gonna try to fish the Lehigh River as well. Uh, I'm about, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes away. So once we get there, we rig up, we're gonna hop on Hickory Run and see what we can do. So I just got out here to Hickory Run State Park. I think it's my first time here. Uh, I gotta follow this road for a little bit. Hickory Run itself is, I don't really know how far, but at least a couple hundred yards into the uh, forest here. So I just got down to this kind of boggy area. The stream should be right over here. I do see some other cars, so fingers crossed they're hiking and not fishing. We'll see. Yeah, I can hear the creek like right up here. Let's see. Oh, man, it is cold. It is so cold. Got an old ladder right here. So the plan is follow this stream. Okay, that's not bad. So we're going to follow Hickory Run all the way downstream until we get to the uh, Lehigh River. So let's uh, let's see how this goes. Got three male ducks right here. I wonder what they were they were plotting. Three male ducks just I don't know what they were doing. As long as they don't fly away and scare the uh scare the fish, that's all I really care about. It's weird, all the creeks up in the Poconos have this like like tea colored sort of I guess the word's tannic water. But they're all like almost uniformly the same. Huh. So unfortunately, still no trout, nice bridge. Um, unfortunately, no trout yet on Hickory Run. I guess I'm on the Hickory Run Trail, which is cool, <clears throat> I suppose. So we're gonna we're gonna follow this down. Uh, I can't imagine I have more than a quarter or half a mile till I get to the Lehigh River, which I'm also gonna fish, but yeah, aside from seeing one trout, seeing, not catching or even getting a bite, aside from seeing one trout, this Class A stream has not produced yet, but, oh. oh so I thought I had gotten up here early enough to not get fished out especially with how cold it was earlier i didn't really think anybody would be out but i just passed a father daughter combo which is great i mean i'm all for that but they essentially just fished all of hickory run down to the mouth where it meets the lehigh river so i um i may hit a couple holes but you know it was it was two of them so i assume uh, most of the trout would have been spooked, you know, 20, 30 minutes ago when they were there. So I'm going to hit a couple holes, but as of right now, I think, I think the move is get to the Lehigh River. So I finally made it out to the river where Hickory Run meets the Lehigh. So down there looks real, real bad. Uh, a lot of rapids, high water, fast water. Up here... 
for the next stretch, it actually looks pretty good. Then there's a bunch of rapids, um, but that's fine. So I guess the plan is we'll fish up. The water's a little high, but it is what it is. Didn't get anything on Hickory, but we're definitely gonna uh, fish the Lehigh because we're here. I got this plug on. I may switch to something else. I may switch to like a huge spinner or something. So I finally got up to the rapids and although it's really cool, uh, not a lot of great fishing water. I'm gonna quick fish this hole, but I think then I'm gonna just hike, turn off the GoPro, hike way past them. It looks like it continues for a really long time, unfortunately. So I'm gonna hike past all this stuff. I just wanted to quick try this hole right here. If I was a trout, this is where I'd be hiding, right in here. I haven't even gotten a bite yet though, so I'm, I'm really not uh, not overly hopeful. Well, still no, still no trout. It's been quite a few hours I've been out here. Not necessarily on the river, but just out here in general. And yeah, have not, not caught a trout. There's this nice calm area. There's rapids here, rapids here. There's this semi calm area right here, which you know, under normal circumstances, I would assume there'd be like a gang of trout in here, but. Ooh, ooh, oh, got him, got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Get him to the net, get him in the net. Oh, we got him. All right, all right, got him. Ooh, that'll be a wild brownie too. I do not think that's a stalker. He's too small to be a stalker. So, got a nice brownie in here. I'm gonna get the hook out of him and then we'll take a look at him. Got a brownie in the net here. He's nice and fine. We brought the net today. I want to show you this guy. I don't think this is a stalker. I definitely think this is a wild brownie. Tell me if I'm wrong. He's like almost too small to be a stalker. Colors look pretty good. Let's look at him. Red colors look real nice. He's only about maybe 10 inches. If he's a stalker, he's a small one. Yeah, he probably is a stalker. So that's our first First trout here on the Lehigh River. Very nice, very nice. And we're gonna get him right out of here. We're gonna coax him back to life, and he's gone. Awesome, very first trout, so hopefully we can catch some more. Still working my way upstream. Looking for trout number two out here on the Lehigh River. It actually looks pretty good, like right over there. I'm wondering if I should go to this Goose Island and fish it. So I just waded across over to what I'm colloquially, colloquially, colloquially calling Goose Island because of these two geese. So it looked a little bit deeper on the other side and now it doesn't look that deep like at all, but it also doesn't look bad. So. I'm gonna quick fish this stretch right here, even though it looks way more shallow than I thought. I'm gonna try to fish here without, hopefully without getting stuck. I feel like I might get stuck though. Didn't get any, didn't get any bites. Mr. Brownie, monster, monster. Got him. Oh, don't lose them. Don't lose them. Got my net in my mouth, trying to get him to the net. Real nice brownie. Real nice brownie. Let's get him into the net. Get him into the net here. And we got him. Yes. Yes. Awesome. I've been waiting for a brownie like this all day. So let's get to shore safely. Whew. Man, so glad I came over to Goose Island. The geese are right there watching me. So, ooh. Dang. All right, so we're gonna keep this guy in the water. Need to get my pliers out to get him out of here. All right, so we got him right down in the net here. Clearly a, a stock brownie, but real healthy, really nice. We're gonna get him out of here in a second. He's, he's chomping at the bit. You can see we got him in the net. We got him right in the net, squarely in the net. No reds, clearly a, a stocker, but still a beautiful fish. Got him right in those rapids over there. Really surprised, but let's, let's take a quick look at him. Quick look at him. Hold on, bud, hold on. Take a quick look at him in the net. Real nice fish in the net. All right, let's get him out of here. Hold on, bud. We'll get you out of here. Oh, hold on, bud. We'll get you out of here. 
Wow, that's probably a 16 inch fish. Beautiful. So let's get him right over here, get him right out of here. He's thick too. Dang. Yeah, that's a that's a nice one. That's a nice one. Let's get him right out of here. See you later, bud. Dang, that's a nice fish. Ooh. All right, so we're gonna fish those rapids again. Glad we came over to what I'm colloquially, I just like using that word, Goose Island. Got him over in the rapids. We're gonna fish there a little bit more and then get out of here. But that, that's the type of fish we were looking for. That's why we came to the Lehigh River. Whew, not a wasted day. All right, let's keep going. All right, so we finally just got that second trout. Really nice, probably like 14, 15 inch, maybe a healthy size stock brownie. We got him, I think, right in these rapids. So I'm pretty much gonna cast back out here and see if there's any more that are in here. Maybe there are, maybe there aren't, but we're definitely gonna try. I just took a huge L too. Didn't, didn't catch that on camera, but I did take a really big, big spill. So I'm gonna keep casting out here. If I, uh, if I catch anything, I'll pop on the GoPro. It's right in this section. And these brownies are liking these rapids here, so gotta put the spinner where the fish are, I guess. Oh, got him, got him. Oh, bigger, bigger guy, bigger guy, bigger guy. Oh, real nice. Oh, you see him jump? Dang. Dang, dang, dang. Let's see if we can get him to the net. Let's see if we can get him to the net. Got the net out. Let's see if we can get him in the net. Oh, got him, got him, got him got him so we just got the hook out of him he's looking pretty good probably the same size as the last guy so in the net we're gonna get him right out here he's right in the net right in the net we're gonna get a quick quick release on him we're a quick release good looking fish dang that's a that's a good looking brownie so we're gonna get him right back in here right back in here and he's gone he's gone I stopped fishing for a while, started hiking, uh, eventually got to Black Creek. So this section of Black Creek before the road doesn't really have a lot of holes, so I'm probably, yeah, I'm probably just gonna get up up on the road. Oh my God, such a long hike, bikers. So, although I, uh, Although I try to eat healthy and obviously I exercise a lot via hiking and fishing, I'm just thinking about like on the way home from the, po from the Poco Nose, where am I gonna stop to eat? Like should I stop at McDonald's, get a double quarter pounder, medium Coke and fry, or should I try to find an Arby's? Get like a double roast beef sandwich, Coke, cheese cup on the side for the French fries, the curly fries, and then a bunch of uh, horsey packets. I basically just use the Arby's roast beef sandwich as a conduit through which I insert Arby's horseradish sauce into my mouth. So I think that's I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop at Arby's. Just shared a little tidbit. I know you don't care. The fishing's over. You should you should click next or just never watch me again. But yeah, I'm still hiking. It's been like two freaking miles. I went way farther than I thought. So I'm gonna get to my car and then quick wrap up. All right, so I just got back to my car. I'm gonna wrap up really quick. It's super packed up here. So we fished in and around the Hickory Run State Park area. And although we didn't catch any, any wild brown trout in the class A section of Hickory Run, we did manage to catch three nice stock trout on the Lehigh River. Um, so overall, eh, it was an okay day. Uh, not terrible, not great. Um, but it was still nice to be out, nice to hike, nice to be in the Poconos or wherever we are. So. Um, I think that's all we got for today. Thank you for watching, and hopefully we'll catch some more fish next time.